All right, we are here, and we are going do, 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 do. here, and we're here to here. I haven't been to this place in years. It's like a garden of a. 1,000 Buddhas or something not something that you would Not something you would think that you'd find in Montana and Here's like the entryway At least that gazebo looking Buddha thing little entry bulletin board Ewam Something or other so it looks like they have two uh, YouTube channels um, Iwam Films and uh, the Buddha Barn. So this is new from last time. All these, uh, never, didn't have all these planted trees here. Here we're coming into the uh, entryway of the Thousand Buddhas. It's not really a temple, it's more of a, like a garden Buddhist philosophy teaching center. Prayer offerings. Yeah, I could always use a uh, a paint can opener. And I got a rock in my sandal. So it looks like each one of these little statues is donated by a family. These are ones that haven't been donated yet. I guess you go and pick whichever statue you want to say that you donated. I think this is one of those prayer things that you spin. You gotta spin in a certain direction so many times walking certain direct I don't know it's supposed to be good luck or good fortune or one of those things and up on up there hey hold on yeah the zoom is so slow it's like a prayer flags it's kind of funny that uh, out in the middle of uh, all this pasture land and, and farmland is is this not something that you would uh, not something that you would expect kind of different more donations another look at the prayer flag up on the hill These walk clockwise. A little pond. I don't know why I'm narrating everything. And back that way is the, uh, it's over there. That's where the gift shop's at. Big old koi. Statues of different Buddhas. says you're looking at a statue this says uh, same thing yeah you can't even see this place from the highway I, I didn't even know it I didn't even know it existed until uh, someone told me about it here we have a Buddha with his uh, offering bowl or uh, begging bowl in Thailand they would wake up the monks would wake up early in the morning and go through the village and <clears throat> people would set out rice or give them rice I would always wake up like around I'd start cycling about six o'clock and they were already out making the rounds here's another statue thing so if you're looking at this and thinking it kind of seems kind of like incomplete well it's not very old and everything is donation based so Whereas you have lots or temples in other places of the world that seem a lot more decorative or ornate. It's because they've been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. So this is just the beginning stages. I watched this video on School Life. It's kind of a philosophy channel on YouTube. And they talked about why Westerners seem to flock towards Eastern philosophy more than Western philosophy. And I think the reason why is Western philosophy is more academic. 
about memorization of who said what, who did what, what time happened where. Just memorization, more, more knowledge based than wisdom. And uh, Eastern philosophy is more, yeah, it's important to know who said what or whatever, but it's more about making yourself a better person, making, uh, becoming happy, helping others, more, more wisdom based. I've met a few people who are philosophy majors and uh, yeah, they're just stuck with a huge student, you know, huge student loan and I, I feel like they're still somewhat empty. You know what I mean? And I'm getting weird looks, so I gotta go. All right, did the little walk back to the parking lot. I had to, I've been shut in for the last couple days. Um, they're doing road work and uh, I haven't made any videos because I've been just cleaning and selling stuff. It takes a long time to get rid of your crap. Holy cow. And th the weird thing is, um, you get like a lot of scrutiny when you go to uh, drop stuff off at a thrift store. You know, uh, what is that? Uh, these are clothes, what size? Uh, yeah, we don't take that size. What? What is that? Uh, it's a TV. Oh, uh, we don't take TVs. Really? What is that? It's it's a chair. Uh, we don't. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> uh, just just weird. Just uh, you didn't. Yeah. I mean, it, what, if it was junk, I would have thrown it away. But if it was stuff that I still found useful. I don't know. Just kind of odd. I was listening to a uh, thing on NPR about uh, customer service and they they were uh, talking with LL Beam employees and L apparently LL Beam has a 100% satisf satisfaction guarantee for as long as we even if you don't have your receipt if they can see the label if you don't have your receipt they'll give you in-store credit if you're unsatisfied and people were bringing back like boots that they've had for 20 years and just wore through them. There's nothing wrong with the boots. They just, you know, everything has a life. But they're returning that, getting in-store credit, a couple hundred bucks. And L.L. Beam, it's not cheap. And I think that's the reason why people go buy the stuff is they just return it when they're done with it. Kind of how REI used to be before they uh, changed their ch they got a new CEO and they changed their return policy uh, the joking thing about REI is people would call it uh, they said that it would stand for re uh, rent everything indefinitely because they used to have a similar return policy but uh, yeah I don't know how I feel about that I, I if you've gotten use out of it, yeah, uh, and, and, and you're returning it just because you've worn through it, I mean, if it was like a week or so and it broke, yeah, I, I understand that, but 20 years, 15 years, and you just wore through, you know, wore through the leather, uh, that just, that's just stealing. I don't know, how do you... How do you explain L.L. Beam's high prices for things? In a way, they're kind of asking for it, aren't they? I mean, 50 bucks for a flannel shirt? In Missoula, in an REI parking lot, taking off my pants. Well, I should say, unzipping the pant legs. I'm not going to go inside REI and give the staffers the bat, bat signal. And no, I'm not going to go inside REI and film. That's just weird. Really uncomfortable for me and people that work there. Don't know why I'm here. Um, don't need anything. Just going just gonna to take a look. Alright, huge success. 
bought nothing. I like this double chin going on. I just, I'm going to start doing my exercises. I mean, this thing. I do this for about 10 minutes every day. Look how skinny my fingers are. Don't laugh at that. It's a bad joke. That little fire there is started by fireworks, I believe. It did create quite a bit of haze. Well, a little bit of haze. Celebrate your freedom by burning down your country. <laughs>